Hey there, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share with you an app called Twitterific 5 which has just been released and it's an app to access your Twitter account. Now when you first launch the app you will need to authorise access and then once that's done it will load up all your timeline and app mentions and DMs. So first of all I'm going to show you the um, settings. You can change things like your font size, you can have a dark theme or a light theme, you can change the size of the profile pictures, um, I say the font size and you can even change the type of font as well. So if you wanted to change it to that you can do. Um, and then also in the settings you can have notification sounds on or off. Now the notification sounds are for when you're actually in the app, not when you're out of the app. Um, you can find timeline and dark theme at night. So for example if you're using the light theme at the moment like myself, when it's if you tick that then at night time it will automatically switch to the dark theme for you. Then there's also settings for your sync service and sync behaviour. Then onto your main timeline, when you first launch it, it always launches on your home screen. And this is where all the people that you follow's tweets will show. And to reload it all, you just pull and refresh. And then you just scroll down to read the tweets. If you wanted to reply, you can, there's a few ways you can do it. Well, two. You can either tap it like this and you can retweet, retweet, tweet as in reply back, a favourite, or um, translate, or email, and cancel. And then you just hit reply if you wanted to, and there you would be able to see their tweet, and then you can just type in the reply you wanted to say to them. It will not bother. If you want to do it a quicker way, you can just swipe this way, and it will launch it up for you, You'd, so you've hardly got any taps to press, it's just a quick swipe. So it's whichever it suits you really. Then you just keep scrolling down to read them all. If you want to save a link, you can do. Um, you just tap and hold it, and then the options come up to, say, for example, send to pocket, um, copy the link, or open the page. In your app mentions, this will be all the mentions to yourself, and they'll be a different colour, so you can tell in your time when they show up in your timeline, then it stands out a bit. So these are my in orange. Um, again. You can do it the same way to reply and retweet. You can either swipe it or tap it, it's totally up to you. If you want to see the previous conversation you've had with a person, you just swipe it like so. And then it'll be all listed, all the different conversations that you've had. So just in case you forgot what you were talking about, which is easily done, then it will be listed there. Then in this section, you've got all your DMs. So any DMs you've got on your account will show there. It's not currently actually showing for mine. Um, some people have had this problem and some haven't. If your DMs aren't showing, if you delete your account and then re-add it again manually, then your DMs will show. But it's only for, it's only for some people like it. it's not worked and it just happens to be that mine haven't. Then to tweet, you just tap that button there. Type in your tweet or photo and then once that's done you just hit the tweet button and it will tweet it for you. So it's just a, a quick look at it really. Um, it probably won't be for everybody. It's quite basic with its features, things like it doesn't have push and it doesn't have mute and streaming. So if you really like those type of features, then it's maybe not for you. But if, for example, you've always used um, the official Twitter app, then this may be a step up for you because it looks obviously better. It's just got a few more nicer features than the official one. I'll just show you, for example, if you go to your profile... And if you say, if you went to all the people that follow you, it lists it in quite a unique way than all the other Twitter apps do. It's like it's showing all their icons, which I like that feature. It's a nice, um, different feature. I've not seen it before in any of the apps. So it's really a preference to which you prefer and what sort of features you're wanting from a Twitter app. If you're happy with the settings that Twitterific 5 has, um, then I'd recommend that you download it. But if you want, if you definitely want things like mute, and push then maybe it's not for you but at least looking at the review now you've got an idea of how it works and what it looks like and what to expect so let me know in the comments below and um, what you think if you've tried it what your thoughts on it or what app you prefer and thanks for watching bye bye for now